All right, welcome back to the Ruin Wheels podcast. Back, my people. We just witnessed the weigh-in. Um, it wasn't too active. Not it wasn't. Yet. The security was on point today. The security was. <laughs> the security was on point today. <laughs> it was on, on job. On job. Um, prime bottles weren't thrown. But let's get into our final thoughts on the main card. Yeah, starting with Dean. And we lead. You know what? No, starting with um, Chase and Tempo. Uh, so, what do you think is going to happen there, Lee? Uh, it's a tough one. I think Tempo, obviously, Tempo's got the most skill. Chase is going to be awkward, might throw some big bomb, you don't know. He's but throw a big I bomb. think, in terms of boxing, Tempo should win. He should win. He should win. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Then, boy. I think Chase is going to win, though. Don't know why. Yeah. But, you know, I don't. But I don't think he's the coldest Which out there. But wild, mad I, I just wherever. think I just think he's gonna do some bully man thing, yeah. and it's gonna work. I think he's gonna just do yeah. the bullying, and it's gonna work. Possible. Um, King Kenny at. I always said, see from Kenny's character. Yeah. He's. I think Kenny can win. I yeah. think I think if he keeps it boring, if he beats himself, keeps it boring, stays on the outside, uh, stays behind the jab, beats negative, he can win on points easily. Easily. If, yeah, if he executes what you just said, he does win on points easily. I yeah. believe that. Later rounds, round three, round four, you start throwing the uppercuts in. Bam, bam. Take yeah, just uppercuts, adding the body shot, on, yeah. back on the jab, back to moving around. But I don't think that's going to be the fight, bro. It's, I it's think, I think, I think it's going to turn into a scrap. Starting from round one, he can be in control of the rhythm and he the can. distance. So if he can do that... If he thinks he can dare try go head to head at AT, he'll see. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out if Kenny can build from the last performance. Yeah, the last performance yeah. was a good performance. Was it a fluke? It was a or great not? performance. Was it a fluke or not? Mm-hmm. And with someone like AT in front of you who is designed to take you out of your game. Yeah. Winderson wasn't designed to take you no, out of your game. No. AT is designed to take yeah. you out of your game. It's a good fight, fighter versus boxer. It's a good one. I think. Kenny's going to get it on a close, close one. Yeah, you, uh, unanimous decision, I, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I think a majority. majority. I'm going to go on majority, yeah. I think it, one, it's going to be a rough fight. One judge is going to tilt it AT's way, and then the cleaner boxing is going to prevail, and it will be a, a split decision win. Okay. That's what I think I'm going for. Okay. Next, we're going Dean and Walid. I know you've said Walid, right, before. No, uh, I think when Dean watches, when both fighters watch back the tape, Dean's got a lot more to learn from. He can take away more and become mm. better on the next fight. What he was doing good, he just got caught. He got caught. And like, that, that can make you a bit like yeah, tend to lazy. Yeah, a bit, more, bit yeah. lazy. But I think Dean had a lot more to work on, and which he's, he's trained by Malik Scott now. So let's see if he's improved. Yeah. Let's see if he can follow instructions and whatnot. But obviously, Dean, I think that was one of the best knockdowns in Misfits boxing. It's the best punch in best crossover punch. Yeah, boxing. Yeah, it is, it is. The, the yeah. delivery on that, he yeah. ain't never delivered a shot like that again. When do you, ever, you don't really see a lot of these guys try and uh, beat someone else to the punch, yeah. take that risk. And especially take, especially whilst getting knocked down like that. Full commitment. So, yeah, it was a nice punch. It was a beautiful shot. I'm going with Dean, you know. Yeah, Dean. I think Dean is. I think Dean is ready to do it. I think he's ready to do it. He's, he's been dealing with some things outside of the ring and whatnot. Obviously, I spoke to him yesterday. But I feel like he's ready to be the star. Yeah. He's got to step up to be yes, the star because to. Walid will, can win, but he won't be a star. No, he ain't got that. He ain't got that Dean quality. wins. But Dean's yeah. a star. Yeah. So, you dig? <laughs> you dig? <laughs> yeah, you dig? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going to win. I'm going to do my thing. You dig? <laughs> but now, shout out to Dean. Um, and then, obviously, we move up again now on the, on the card. Here we got um, Slim and Salt. Uh, I'm going with Slim. Ooh, me too, you know. With Slim. Me too, you know. Yeah, I'm going, I'm with, going Slim. with Slim. I think there's something about Slim. He's get see when Slim talks about boxing, he's starting to understand boxing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of the times when I hear these influencers talk, they don't know nothing. Mm. They, they, they don't know nothing. But Slim, when he talks about the game, I'm seeing he's learning more. He's starting to understand the game a lot more. He's got a good coach now. Very, Very good, good coach. coach. Very good official coach. Official certified official coach. Certified. So I want to see some new skills implemented. He just needs to maintain his range. Still be awkward, still fight on the outside. So it's going to have to fight in a way he's not used to fighting to get the dub here. Because remember, broomstick slim, yeah? That requires yeah. certain things. Getting inside of the broomsticks yeah. and having to use a different aggression. See, the thing is, I think, to be honest, when it comes to the clinch work or fighting out the clinch, slim is the best in the influencer game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dangerous. He's, active, yeah. he's dangerous with that right hand in the pocket. You he think is. he's not going to throw a clap. He'll throw it, he'll throw so, it. yeah. I'm 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 back in slim. I think so. Obviously, it's going to be a close fight either way. Yeah, it's going to be close. But there's there's power in their backhands. See, will yeah, it go the yeah. distance or will it be points? This is what I don't know. Well, yeah. 
And see I the thing know. is, obviously, Salt Puppy lost a lot of weight. So we need to see how he fights at this weight. Can mm. he take the same punishment at this weight? Because it, it does it does affect your performance. No, of course, of course, of yeah. course. And especially if the fight is not over quickly, then it does start to show. Yeah. We shall see, innit? We, we shall see. It's a great fight. It's a great fight. Let the best man win. But sure. yeah, I think Slim has a bit more. Salt Pappy, I haven't really seen him be great on the front foot. Mm. So it could yeah, be a boring fight. It, it could be I, a dead fight. That's what it is. I haven't seen Salt Pappy initiate yeah. attacks. Yeah. I see him wait, obviously wait, 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 wait and wait, counter wait, and look count sharp. On. But yeah. have we seen him push a, a fight? Yeah. And when you've got someone who wants to keep on the outside, yeah. you want to push the fight. Yeah. So it's going to force Salt Pappy to be something he's never had to be to I win. Know. Whereas Slim can do what he's done before and win. Yes. So that's why I'm going to back Slim on that one, but still going to be a close fight. Um, moving co main event now, Logan came up with a belly on today. Yeah. You only roll through with a belly. You don't know it's me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Swarms, yeah. <laughs> but he came through with the prime belly today. We know why. You're backing Logan for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Backing Logan, but his reflexes were a bit dead. His reflexes was a bit dead when his head got bust with a mic and ting. <laughs> But yeah, his reflex was a bit slow. But yeah, Logan, Logan should have this. He should have this in the bag. I'm just praying that Dylan doesn't do something stupid to get disqualified. Mm. But you know, that's the act up yeah, with all the millions and billions of anaconda views. choke. Yeah. So I think Logan. If Logan don't beat him in three rounds, I'm considering it a loss for Logan. Like he ain't gonna look. He'll still win the fight, but yeah. like you're pathetic. You're pathetic. Uh -uh. Little man's having fun in the cage. Yeah, man. You might as well. You live once. You live once. But yeah, I, I think Logan wins by KO by the third round. Yeah. Like you said, yeah. if, if Dylan's not out of there, mm. it's a loss for Logan, yeah. even though he, I think he'll get the dub regardless. Yeah. Main event now, Joseph, I don't know if you heard. What did JJ weigh in at? 181.7. Told you. Yeah. 181. Yeah. Now, the limit, as we know, for the fight is 185. Yeah. 185 or 183? 183. 183. Yeah, 183. 183. Yeah. So he's coming two pounds under, which is about a kilo. Yeah, yeah. It's a kilo wonder. Hopefully, he's going to go now, rejuvenate, replenish. Hopefully, he might get himself up to what, 187, 188? 187, I believe. So. Tommy's going to. What did Tommy weigh in at? I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. probably closer on yeah, to close the 183. To 185, definitely, for sure. Uh, Probably so going to come in 194, 193. Yeah, I think he'll have, he'll have at least he eight, eight to ten and, pounds. Yeah, he might take them and go 195. I think so. I think you'll have eight to ten, eight to ten pounds over JJ come tomorrow night. But ultimately, if a man rushed your girl and he said, "I weigh ten pounds more than you," would you let him just beat up your girl? No, you wouldn't. You would bang him in his face anyway and hope for the best. So when it comes to the weight and stuff, it's a fight at the end of the day. Yeah, it matters. But when I'll give you that scenario, how much does it really matter? This is what we have to. That's the mentality you gotta have. And I know JJ's in his bag right now. Yeah. Great, uh, I liked him today. Great energy. Mm. His good, nice, he, good speech. He controlled the they crowd. Know. They know. Do more, you know. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, I like the energy today. So hopefully tomorrow we get the victory so the people will know. The people will know for sure. And Tommy was doing all this chat yesterday. He said, you come to my Manchester, my town, your bum. Yeah, <laughs> he came on that vibe. It must get him booed in his own yeah. thing. But then apparently no one out of my town knows me. You see, you oh, see, uh, cheek, you cheek see them like, cheeky like, ones there. Then you get booed up in your own town. Yeah, no, you and then I'm the getting town, the selfies mate. taken no, in mate. your own town. But you know, we're going to finish on, on that note there. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. It's going to be exciting, man. It's good. I need, we need to be here from early. It's going to be, yes. Yeah, I'm going to be here from very There's early. There's no fights yeah, to yeah, miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't miss no fights from the start to the finish gonna be ram jam this might be the first time a boxing event in the a arena is packed from the absolute start until the end because think about it i don't know if there's a big brazilian community in manchester but if, if there if there is portuguese brazilian community yeah. they're coming out for winderson yep. you know what i mean the people that are supporting dean they're coming out for dean anyone that's yeah. supporting the state beta you squad here, yeah, you, they, you know here, what i mean man. there's so many clans markets and people yeah. involved in this one show if you're not here buy the pay-per-view don't pirate the thing. Don't pirate the ting. But you know, a lot of men will still <laughs> yeah, yeah. do their ting. Of course. But it's been the real wheels. You get me? We're here, post fight. I mean, sorry, press conference. Weigh in. Jesus, I got there the third time. I got there the third time. This fight week, man, that's more than all the days. But shout out to everyone. Shout out to Lee. Now nah, he's in the cut. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday I had to hold it down, but he's back. Down. Back now. Back, hey, what? what? Back, back. One words of wisdom. One words of wisdom. 
Woo, you got me, man. You got me. You got me. Ah, uh, let me think of God. A word of wisdom for the fighters. Let's, let's do it for, for the, the fighters. For the fighters. Even, yeah, not even a random thing. Just for the fighters who are going to watch this tonight. For the fighters, listen. You, listen. you do not deserve to win. No one deserves to win in this game. Oh, the win has to be taken. Mm -hmm. The win has to be earned. Right. Just because you ran 100 miles, you don't deserve to win. Yeah. Because you sparred 200 rounds, you don't deserve to win. Mm -hmm. No one cares to show up on the night. That's what matters. Show up on, on the, the night, night and give it your all. Let's Listen, go. You don't get what you deserve. You get what you can negotiate. Yeah. And on that note, like and subscribe. We out. We out.